Did you know that the butterfly effect was discovered by accident? Edward Lorentz was an American scientist who studied maths at college before working as a weather forecaster for the US Air Force in World War II, which he clearly enjoyed, after the war completing his master's degree and PhD in meteorology at MIT. In 1961, he was looking at a set of three simple equations that represented a very simple dynamical model of the Earth's atmosphere. These equations tell you how three variables, x, y, and z, evolve as time goes on. The way you solve these equations with a computer is by starting at some initial set of values, like x equals 0, y equals 1, z equals 0, and then moving time forward by some small fraction and calculating the change in x, y, and z. Those then become your new starting values and you repeat. Now my home computer can do 2 million of these time step calculations in a single second. But with the best hardware available at the time, Lorentz was limited to just one time step calculation per second. So experiments that involved many thousands of time steps would take a long time. During one experiment, Lorentz wanted to repeat a set of calculations, so he took the printout from the model that showed the past few hundred time steps of results, and then selected a set of values from a little way back in the past as his new initial values, and then set the computer running. Knowing this would take a long time, he went to get a cup of coffee. He came back and expected to see the same result as previously, just in more detail, but that's not what happened. The two printouts looked the same to begin with, but rapidly diverged. And this shouldn't have been possible. There was no randomness in the equations. If you start with the same values, you should get the same results every time. At first, Lorentz thought this must have been a problem with his computer. This was the early days of digital computers, and mechanical problems happened all the time. But he realised that wasn't the issue. The problem was the printout. Numbers were printed out to three decimal places, but the computer was calculating to six decimal places. So when he restarted the simulation with these numbers, he was starting the system in an ever so slightly different state. This is what led to the popularization of the butterfly effect, that by minutely changing your initial conditions, you eventually get a massively different end result. And the connection to the atmosphere was made by Lorentz himself immediately because of his training as a meteorologist. Though at least in 1963, when the discovery was announced, he didn't make the connection to a butterfly, he used the somewhat less poetic analogy of a seagull. 